Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? I think Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes. We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for one licorice-flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker isn't Mr. Big? No, he isn't. But that was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks! Well, if it's not Gil Barker, then which one of us is it? I suspect Mr. Fingers! Whoa! No way, baby! I don't know rustling. Just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Well, we also heard you talking about singing This Little Piggy. What was that about? My wife was trying to get our kids to go to sleep. We have 17, you know. Land sake. So you're not Mr. Big? Nope. Afraid not. That phone call did sound suspicious, but Phil isn't the one we're looking for. Who is it then? Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <gasps> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs>
Oh, Stewball was a racehorse, but she was mine. Do you really want to restart the game? about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we 
we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. 